Okay, here we're going to apply what we know about 30, 60, 90 degree triangles and the Pythagorean theorem to find the perimeter of a triangle. And this is pretty neat because, again, all you need to know is an angle and a side length, and you can do this. So we'll set up our triangle, something like this. And what we know is we have a little line down here. I should say all we know is that this length is 6 meters. And that this angle right here is 30. This angle here is 60. So now we find the perimeter. Well, first of all, if this is 30 and that's 60, if we think about the larger triangle, that means that this is going to be a right angle, right? 30 and 60 is 90. And our goal is to find the total perimeter. Well, if we also know, and we have to know this, I guess, that, that this is a right angle down here, now we're ready. Well, in this 30, 60, 90 degree triangle, we know the hypotenuse. It's 6. That means this side down here has to be half of that. That's the basic property of 30, 60, 90 degree right triangles. So that means that this leg down here is half of 6 or 3 meters. And that's from here to here. And now we're getting somewhere. In this larger triangle, we have this red 90 degree angle and this 60 degree angle, which means that this right here has to be what? Well, this has to be 30 degrees, right? It's the only angle left in this larger red, let me highlight this, triangle. And again, if you're not convinced of that, just remember there's 180 degrees in a triangle. We've got 90 here and 60 there. That's 150. There's 30 left. So now we have another 30, 60, 90 degree triangle. And this time we're going a little backwards, right? We know the shortest side of the triangle. It's this one right here. So we know that this is the hypotenuse and it has to be double of 6. So altogether it has to be 12. Okay, so if this is 3, we can add 9 to that. This is going to be 9 meters for this length right here. And now, in retrospect, if I had observed that this large triangle was a 30, 60, 90 from the start, I could have just made that jump. Right? This total distance here has to be 12. And this has to be 6. So what's this side length right there? Well, it's a little bit trickier. Um, it's, it's basically the short side of the triangle, 6, times the square root of 3. And that goes back to our special properties that we talked about in our last video for the 30, 60, 90 degree right triangle. You can just discover that, and if you're not convinced of that, solve the Pythagorean theorem. Take 6 squared plus something unknown, that's the missing leg, that would equal 12 squared. You'll, and you, you'll work through it, you'll find that b equals the square root of 144 minus 36. I'm just working ahead in this. What's 144 minus 36? What's the square root of, let's see, 144 minus 30 is uh, 114 minus 6 is 108. So if we broke down the square root of 108, what we would, we would come to is I think you'd see 36 right times 3 and if you break that down you'll get this 6 times the square root of 3 so it, it is equal it does work but a simple pattern is multiply this by the square root of 3 and you get that leg right there in a 30 60 90 degree triangle now the total perimeter is just of this whole triangle is 9 and 3 which is 12 plus 6 which is 18 meters plus 6 times the square root of 3 meters. Now, depending on the problem and how they specify it, you have to estimate the square root of 3 to some decimal point. Or you can leave it in radical form. You can leave it like this. We don't know how far you want to estimate, but if we wanted to, estimate some decimal. Multiply that by 6 and then add 18, and you have your total perimeter. 